Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, massive a and flight test report on Pipistrel Panthera is complete. Also look out below. Apex chooses Technam P2012 for skydiving ops. And Rocket Biz heats up. Lockheed Martin acquiring Aerojet Rocketdyne. Thank you for joining us this Monday. We hoped you had a great weekend. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today filled with the latest news. So let's start with a and flight test report on Pipistrel Panthera is now complete. Well, it did take a lot longer than expected, but with a pandemic affecting so much of our industry as well as other factors, a and massive 12,000 word flight report on the 200 knot Pipistrel Panthera is now complete as a humongous six part series on the a and website. One reason it took so long is the exacting standards we maintain throughout the flight and documentation period surrounding this plane, as we have for each and every one of our test flights. With so much YouTube videos being published by unqualified pilots, sport plane resource guide author and National Test Pilot School graduate Jim Campbell decided to do a thorough job documenting all pertinent aspects of the aircraft in the air and on the ground so that you can trust the data and make an informed decision to decide if this aircraft is for you. a and is in the process of designing new protocols for the 2021 video flight test reports and updating our processes for the next year's third edition of the Sport Plane Resource Guide. It is a huge undertaking, but it's worth it. After these messages, FlexJet to require flight crew COVID-19 testing before each duty tour. Those details after the break. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in this segment we call Around the Patch. So let's start with FlexJet to require flight crew COVID-19 testing. FlexJet has claimed to be the first and only large-scale operator in their industry to routinely test all of its more than 830 flight crew members for COVID-19 before each tour of duty. Developed by the Rutgers University laboratory called RUCDR Infinite Biologics and administered by Vault Health, this at-home test is a PCR-based test that utilizes a saliva sample. PCR tests are considered to be the gold standard of COVID-19 testing methodologies because of their sensitivity and ability to directly detect detect small amounts of the virus genetic material. Aerocore offering Eclipse 500 training program. Aero Aerocore's flight training program tells ANN that it completed 27 Eclipse 500 initial type ratings in 2020 with a 100% pass rating amongst its students. Based on current bookings, Aerocore anticipates completing three training events per month going forward. They have combined its sales activities with aircraft training, offering optional training bundles with each aircraft itself. The program received initial approval from the FAA in early 2018 and has been continually improving since. Double it up, CAF announces 40,000 stretch goal. 
After successfully achieving the 20,000 gold for the annual campaign, the commemorative Air Force has set a stretch goal to raise $40,000 online as part of the 12 Planes of Christmas campaign supporting aircraft restoration efforts. The restoration grant fund has played an integral part in restoring and maintaining several warbirds in the CAF's fleet of historic aircrafts. These aircrafts are a signature part of the nonprofit's collection and are fundamental to fulfilling its mission. First ATR 72-600 F aircraft delivered to FedEx Express. FedEx Express has taken delivery of their first ATR 72-600 F aircraft for its feeder aircraft network. The delivery of the new state-of-the-art freighter was made from ATR to FedEx in Toulouse, France. The ATR 72-600F is the first ever production freighter built by ATR and can carry heavier payloads than ATR's converted from passenger configuration. The aircraft has a large cargo door, allowing for a bulk cargo as well as unit load device configurations. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Look out below. Apex chooses Technam P2012 for skydiving ops. Technam is expanding their mission profile for their P-2012 aircraft series with Apex Flight Academy in Taiwan. After signing a contract for a Technam P-2012 in a purpose-built skydiving configuration. In 2019, the P-2012 Traveler Commuter Airliner began commercial operations and was quickly followed by Air Ambulance Combi and Cargo variants. In the summer of 2020, Technam revealed their P-2012 Sentinel Special Mission Platform. Winter 2020 has brought the 6 variant to the P-2012 and a new option for jump operators. The P-2012 jump ship will provide benefits for the operator, the jumper, and the diver driver. For the operator, low operating costs for a twin mid-size load factors with good time to climb. The jumpers get a big door, and skydivers love their big doors, and a fuselage that will accommodate launching chunks and easy access for tandem jumpers. Jump pilots will get full FADEC piston engines for no-hassle engine management. Easy hot engine starts and less CG worries as jumpers bum out of the door. This new configuration will also enhance the P-2012 Sentinel SMP mission capabilities, providing to governments and militaries a low acquisition and operating cost jumping platform as primary or secondary tasking. Coming up after the break, new details on how SpaceX has turned the rocket business into a massive new frontier. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artec's life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. Welcome back. Rocket Biz heats up. Lockheed Martin acquiring Aerojet Rocket Dime. SpaceX has turned the rocket business into a massive new frontier, and those who have to compete with Musk are looking to get ahead any way they can. And if you can't compete fast enough, 
One way to get a leg up on the competition is to buy some of those you compete with. Lockheed Martin Corporation has entered into a definite agreement to acquire Aerojet Rocketdyne for $56 per share in cash, which is expected to be reduced to $51 per share in cash after the payment of a pre-closing special dividend. This represents a post-dividend equity value of $4.6 billion and a total transaction value of $4.4 billion, including the assumption of net cash. Gosh. With 2019 revenue of approximately $2 billion, nearly 5,000 employees, and 15 primary operation sites across the United States, Aerojet Rocketdyne is a world-recognized aerospace and defense rocket engine manufacturer. The transaction is expected to close in the second half of 2021. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. In light of the holiday season that's upon us, ANN and Airborne will be operating on a reduced holiday schedule this week. Episodes of Airborne Unlimited will be webcast through the end of the year, Monday and Wednesday, taking each Friday off so we can enjoy the holidays and rest up. You can also watch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time. Wishing you Happy New Year.